Here I am taking apart Mopar part number 6821-6944AA. This bolts to the front axle of a 2016 Dodge Ram and others. The one on my truck stopped working, so I decided to take it apart and see what's wrong instead of spending 500 bucks on a new one. Here I'm using strips of copper flashing to hold open the many, many plastic clips that hold the two halves of the case together on this part. All the clips are held open now, and it's time to gently pry around the edges. Once the case halves are separated, there's lots of RTV sealant to clean off. Now that the cover is removed, you can check the gears, make sure nothing is stripped off, everything moves freely. When I took this off, it was in the four-wheel drive position. So I'm going to twist it over and set it to the two-wheel drive position to make sure everything moves smoothly. If you decide to try this, be careful that the gears don't pop out because there's nothing really holding them in at this point. Here's the circuit board. I found some corrosion at the base of the pins, so I'm going to clean that off. Checking out the circuit board, the motor, looking for other signs of corrosion or damage. Here you can see inside of the case, uh, the gears to the left, and the positioning sensor attached to that threaded rod. I adjusted the position just a little bit before I put it all back together. There was actually water inside this case when I took it apart, so I dried all that out. That probably came in around where the pins are for the electrical connection. And I'll add some dielectric grease later to seal that up. There's no gasket between the case halves. All that's there is RTV sealant, so I added a fresh bead all the way around. And I made sure all the clips engaged when I put it back together. <laughs> 